Okay, boys and girls. The most common question that everybody gets with these skip trucks is, how do you turn the power up? And I have um, been wanting to do a video on this for a while. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's sunny today. Can't win, can you? It's either red hot or freezing cold. So I am gonna show you today how to turn up a pressure relief valve. This is a common question. I had a guy on the phone this morning, he's having a little bit of trouble with his PTO. I was running him through it and he half understood it. So this is just gonna be a short video, three, four minutes or whatever, of how to turn up your pump. Bear in mind, uh, the reason that I'm doing this video is because, this is not light, I am changing one of these. So we have got a normal valve block. And what I'm gonna tell you is, when you order one of these things off the internet, they're called butcher's blocks, valve blocks, you know, people have all different names from around the country, around the world. So we've got this old valve block here, and we are going to take it off, and we're gonna replace it for this valve block, and I will explain to you why. So somebody has wound it in so far, They've broke it and they've put a weld over the top of it. So basically you pull this lever and when you're lifting some heavy, the engine of the truck cuts out, which is no good. So what we want to do is we want to have it so it's running at the correct pressure so you don't damage your pump. And the way that you do this, I'm gonna, so like I said, it's only be a short video, but it'll give you, if your truck's not lifting enough or it's lifting too much, this will tell you how to do it. So what we want to look for is when we've got a valve block, we've got three levers. I've obviously undone them there, so it started to drip. We're going to change them there. So when we look for a a new replacement valve block, we're going to look at the numbers. So we've got a 3P, which means three levers, and it is there, it's got a 40, which means it will do 40 litres per minute through this pump. So I'm gonna show you quickly how to adjust the pressure. So this is not only up, it's also down. It says P there on this side, which is pressure, T for tank, and that means your pressure comes in this side and that one returns to the tank. So to, as the pressure comes in, you pull your lever there, the pressure comes in there and it will run probably in this, in the middle of this block like that, so when you're not pulling your levers, it goes through there and back out to the tank out of this one. If you pull your lever and there's too much pressure, there's a little valve inside there and that little valve will open up and what will happen is it will again blow the pressure back through and across the tank. So I'm gonna show you how to adjust this. See if I can do it. Yeah, if you'll just hold that again. Right, okay, so I'm gonna take this little nut off here. We're gonna undo it. it. Takes five seconds to do this. Right, let's have a look what's inside there. So it is, in this case, a little Allen key, as you can see, just a little normal Allen key. This is a locking nut. So what we'll do, we'll undo this, and what I will do is use a pressure gauge to check what pressure it is running at. Bear in mind I'm doing this one-handed because we've got a camera. And all you will do, is you'll put an allen key in this hole here and the further in you go the more pressure you have and the further out you wind it the less pressure you have so that is literally all you will do yeah so clockwise is more pressure and anti-clockwise is less pressure and what you have to remember is with these little valve blocks is they're all pretty much the same so it doesn't matter if you're running an iab a big truck anything like that when you look at these um, blocks it will all be pretty much the same principle so I hope that video will help somebody and I'm gonna quickly transfer this valve block over to there because this valve block has been turned up that much they've probably tried to turn it that high they've rounded the Allen key off so they've took the Allen key out and then they have basically welded over the top of it so it can't leak oil so this I just forgot to mention, I've just undone that quickly, I'm gonna show you what's inside there. That is your release valve. So what happens is, as the pressure 
comes into here through the pressure side when the pressure gets too high this spring is compressed like that and it squashes and when it does that it lets the oil past it and it goes across here so that's just made up of basically a little plunger in a in a spring there's nothing technical about that really so that should so that should give you an idea how they work with these valve blocks we import these ourselves we get thousands of them delivered at once we sell a few on the internet and stuff so they're pretty good and we can get them set to a set pressure so we set these to 200 bar so i hope this video has helped you i'll build this back up and then you lot can get off and go and enjoy your evening and i will swap this over so my driver is ready to go out tomorrow and i'm actually turning the pressure down so he can lift less not more which i'm sure nobody watches this video will be turning the pressure down but i might be the only one see you soon Bye now.